welcome to the video lecture on introduction to accounting. So our topic in today's video is about the term bad debts. Now what bad debt means? A bad debt occurs when someone owes you money but you are unable to collect it. That means basically the term bad debt came from the word basically from a debtor. When a debtor becomes bad and he is unable to pay. So when someone owes you money, you are going to get money from your debtors, but you are unable to collect it. So bad debt is a loss, basically it's termed as a loss that a business incurs once the repayment of the credit, which, which previously extended to a customer is estimated to be uncollectable. That means you are not being able to collect whatever the amount of sales which you have done, the money which you require right now, that amount you are not able to collect from your debtors. So bad debt is a contingency that must be accounted for by all businesses and extends credit to customers as there is always a risk that payment will not be received. Now this is a very important point. Now it says that bad debt is a contingency refers to as a fund that you require to create a fund against this particular bad debt which we will discuss later on, we will term something like a provision for bad and doubtful debt. A provision or a fund has to be created because you already have extended credit to customers and there always is a risk that you, may, you might fail to recover back the amount of money which you are supposed to get it from your debtors. Then under such circumstances, to avoid that particular risk, you require to create a provision. This is what we are going to discuss afterwards. So bad debt portion of receivables that can no longer be collected typically from accounts receivable or loans. So bad debt is a term which came from the term which came from basically from data. So when can a data fail to pay? Now debtors can fail to pay if they are not interested to pay or rather I say or intention of not paying the amount so that can be paying the amount so that can be one of the reason why I'm not being able to get uh, receive or get the money from my debtors because the intention of the data is not to pay second it can be that the data currently doesn't have money doesn't have money to pay you so it can always be that I can consider it to be a bad debt, but later on I can receive that particular amount of money. And the third condition is when your data has become insolvent or bankrupt. So you are not being able to get that money. So a bad debt might happen because of you know, bad. What a bad debt means? Bad debt means to say a bad debtor who is unable to repay back the amount to you. So it's basically termed as a bad a data where from you owe certain amount of money and he's not being able to pay he's not being able to pay might be there might be three reasons behind it can be that intention of that particular party is not to pay that amount secondly the data currently has a cash shortage and that is the reason he is not being able to pay or last condition he's insolvent or bankrupt and that is the reason why he's not being able to pay so let's take an example of how bad debt and debtors are related to each other. Now let's take this example. Now as per this particular example, we have taken an accounting year of starting from 1st of April 2019 to 31st of March 2020. So this is a time span of 12 months. Now as on 1st of April 2019, previous year debtors balance was rupees 5 lakhs. That debtors balance of 5 lakhs means to say, I'm supposed to receive 5 lakhs from debtors for the previous year. That means 2018-19 I'm talking about. now. The company received 40% in the current year from 1st of April 2019 to 31st of March 2020. The debtors amount of rupees 5 lakhs which was due, which was supposed to get from debtors. The company received 40% and the rest is due. And also have summarized that bad debt accounts for nearly 20%. On the other side, from 1st of April to 31st of March, the company during this particular period has sold goods worth rupees 7 lakhs out of which cash realized is 25% and 5% is bad debt. So how we are going to calculate 
with reference to bad debt and how that bad debt will be reflected on the value of debtors. That is what we are going to try to find out. So debtors balance with reference to last year, debtors last year, we were supposed to receive from market rupees 5 lakhs. So this is what has been mentioned that we are supposed to receive rupees 5 lakhs from debtors. Now, we already, the company received 40% in the current year. So during this particular period of time, the company has received 40%. If you have received 40%, so we require to do less, the cash position, the cash which you already have received during this particular period, this cash is equivalent to 40% of rupees 5 lakhs. So we calculate 5 lakhs into 40%, which accounts to 2 lakhs. That means 2 lakhs you already have received during this period. So your data's balance goes down because if debtors has paid you 2 lakh, if they have paid you cash 2 lakh during this particular year, so your debtors balance should fall. Because debtors is basically, this 5 lakh was basically an amount which you are supposed to collect. So debtors already have paid you 2 lakhs. So how much is left? So it's basically 5 lakhs minus 2 lakhs, which amounts to 3 lakhs. So this is a particular amount which you are going to get. Now, it's being said that bad debt, if you check what has been mentioned, bad debt is 20%. Now, if bad debt is 20%, it means to say that a company is not going to get 20%, that's for sure. So how they're going to calculate? So they're going to calculate. So if you are sure about the fact that you are not going to get that particular amount, then why you have kept the books of accounts at 3 lakhs? If the question is, why I require to less bad debt? Because if you are sure about the fact that bad debt is 20% and you are not going to get 20% of the total amount of debtors, 20% among the total data of 5 lakhs, 20% you are not going to get. Then why you have kept the book balance as 3 lakhs? So we require to reduce the figure of data. So if we are to reduce the figure of data, we require to calculate out of 5 lakhs, if we are not receiving 20%, so we, we find that it's almost 1 lakh of amount as bad debt. So the current amount stands at which I'm going to receive for this particular year is 3 lakhs minus 1 lakh, which is 2 lakhs. Now, this is with the reference to an old case on 1st of April opening. Now, during this particular year, I also have sold my total sales, say it's, it's credit sales, the amount was 7 lakhs. So, the total sales was 7 lakhs. Now, out of this, cash I have realized 25%. So, less cash I have realized 25%, which I mean to say out of 7 lakhs, I have received 25%, which accounts to 1,75,000. That means to say, still, that means the current debtors amount is 7 lakhs minus the cash amount, which I realized. So it's coming 5,25,000, which I'm supposed to get. Now it's being also being mentioned that out of this, out of 25%, which you have received already, 5% accounts for bad debt. So we require to reduce the amount also by 5% bad debt. So you are supposed to get 7 lakhs out of which you said 5% you are not going to get. So the amount is 35,000. So if I calculate my current debtors amount for my current year stands at 4,90,000. Therefore, my total debtors balance will be equal to 2 lakhs plus 4,90,000 4, which stands at 6,90,000. I hope you have understood this particular concept. I again repeat it one more time. It's being said that total debtors was 5 lakhs as on 1st of April mentioned the total debtors is 5 lakhs. Now out of which the company has received 40%. So if I receive 40% which is 2 lakhs, that means I am supposed to get 3 lakhs rupees more. So my debtors, current debtors will be 3 lakhs. Now, bad debt is 20%, which the company has said. So if bad debt is 20%, we require to reduce the amount of bad debt. So from 3 lakhs, I've reduced the amount of bad debt, which I'm not going to get. So my current data stands at rupees 2 lakhs. Now, with reference to the current year, my sales is 7 lakhs, out of which you said 25% you are going to receive in cash. So I've reduced that particular amount. So 7 lakhs was total sales, which I was supposed to receive. Out of that, I received cash, 1,75,000. The payment has been done. So once the payment has been done, I'm supposed to receive more 5,25,000 from my debtors. Now you say the company has planned that 5% will be bad debt. So we have calculated the amount of bad debt. From 7 lakhs, if 5% is a bad debt, it's coming to 35,000. So your current debtors balance for the current year 
is 5 lakh 25 minus 35,000 is 4 lakh 90. So still you are going to get 2 lakh, which is my old sales, 5 lakhs. Out of this 2 lakhs, you are still going to get, and you are still going to get from my current sales, which is 7 lakhs, 4 lakh 90,000. So total is 6 lakh 90,000. And what has been the amount of bad debt for the current year? For the amount of bad debt for the current year is equal to, from my old sales, I'm not going to get rupees 1 lakh, plus from my current sales is equal to 35,000, which is 1 lakh 35,000. So I hope you have understood this particular concept. Bad debt means a bad data, means to say when your data fails to pay the amount of money. Who are debtors? Debtors are those persons who are going to pay you money. When data fails to pay the money within the stipulated time, it can be termed as bad debt. And it might happen because the intention of not to pay. The intention was not to pay. Second, which was that uh, the data currently has no amount of money to pay you or is insolvent. I hope you have understood the basic concept of what is a bad debt. Till then, thank you. Have a nice day.